Dr. Nita Ogden. I'm a board certified allergist and immunologist and clinical advisor at Curex. If you feel like your allergies are worse than ever, you're not off the mark. There are a few reasons why allergy season may be affecting you more than ever before. Number one, climate change. Climate change is unfortunately leading to many problems, including worse allergies. As the planet gets warmer, plant growth is more robust. Warmer temperatures lead to higher levels of carbon dioxide, both of which are tied to increased plant growth. This means seasons start earlier, last longer, and are generally more intense. With all of this comes an increase in the concentration of pollen in the air, the strength of airborne allergens, and a general increase in allergy symptoms. Number two, not paying attention to your triggers. It's key to know your triggers and plan ahead. If you're allergic to tree pollen, but go running outside in April, for example, it's likely you're having intense pollen exposure and you will feel it. This shows up with those classic symptoms, itchy, watery eyes, sneezing, scratchy throat, trouble breathing. Once you identify which spring pollens you are allergic to, you can be more strategic about when to go outside. Getting an app to track pollen counts in your area and avoiding high tree pollen days, for example, can help reduce your allergen exposure and symptoms. Number three, hidden sources. There are certain things in your life you may not even know are giving you allergies. You may not even realize when you're being exposed to pollen. For example, your long-haired pet may be tracking it into your home, or you might be sleeping with an open window which lets pollen drift through your bedroom. Identifying your triggers will help you discover more about hidden sources. And finally, under-treating yourself. If you're an allergy sufferer, you may not be using medication correctly. For example, if you have seasonal allergies, it's a good idea in the thick of the season to take allergy medication every day and to start two weeks before the season. This offers a blanket of protection before that first pollen burst, which can start a cycle that it can be hard to reverse if medications are started too late. Then during the season, taking medications as needed rather than daily can also lead to breakthrough and worsening symptoms. Check in with an allergy specialist who can help you navigate the allergy aisle, which is so full of many medications, all of which don't necessarily help.